am Geeta. I currently work as a senior PM at Gupshop. Prior to this, I've worked at Zeta for about three years. I was born in Patna. Family background is like everybody wants to be educated. So there was a lot of pressure to be educated. Although I wanted to study literature, but my father told me that is not a viable career. I went the more practical path of engineering. Somebody told me, look, there is a role called product management. You don't enjoy coding. You have that background. It will be a good fit for you. You might like it. So there was this APM internship program. I had applied there. I didn't get through. No surprises there. <laughs> but in the rejection mail, it said that it, for those of you who could not get through, there's a praised who helps you transition into product management roles. So that was my first introduction to operation. Uh, pretty much since I had tried for about a year on my own, I saw that I'm not getting, getting anywhere. I've tried pretty much everything. I tried referrals, I tried reading, tried working on stuff myself. Then I thought, let me try with somebody who's giving me a direction as to how do I get into product management. So I remember I would work till nine or something like that. And then I would come back and do another two hours of interviews and two hours of just studying. I don't think I've worked that hard in my life. Uh, or been that motivated in my life. So the time that I was applying to Zeta, there are about 1200 applications. So if you want to stand out in a sea of 1200 applications, you have got to do something different. So as part of my job application, there was my CV, there was a strategy memo, and there was a PRD also that I had written. The PRD was how I would improve the Fusion documentation for Zeta. When I actually submitted that PRD, the hiring manager who was a director of product eventually at Zeta, he said that these are practical suggestions and why hasn't anybody thought of that? That really made me stand out as part of the 1200 applicants. Also, for the three years that I worked under the same manager, he would always tell everybody this, that uh, your job application was such that it compelled him to sort of give me the first interview. And thereafter, like things progressed and they decided to make the first non-ISP hire in me. We practiced so much. I think we gave at least 10 mock interviews. And I can't tell you the amount of hours that Aditya and Mona have spent with me, just trying to help me understand that this is how you become a PM. This is how you look at a problem. The first initial set of interviews that I gave to Aditya, I remember my answers. And from that to what I gave in Zeta, I could see the growth in myself. That's the thing that stands out the most for appraised for me. It's not like 50 people are being taught by one person. You have like one-on-one -on -one attention with you. You have somebody who listens to your needs and is telling you this is where you're lacking. This is where you need to improve and this is what you're doing well. So overall, I think it's well-rounded feedback that you get. As a PM coach, you have somebody who's sort of sitting with you and helping you understand that this is how you improve. As compared to a classroom setting where one person is explaining to 100 people or something like that. I always wanted to be a teacher. So that was a long dream of mine. So I thought this seems like an opportunity. Always had a good experience with appraised. Also, I recognize when, you know, when you interact with mentees, I was that person three years ago. So sometimes in conversations, I'm like, oh my God, he's just thinking like me. So that happens quite, quite often.